Hello learner, welcome to the channel. This is Raj Kohil from Lumos RK Lab and today we are going to learn about slice plane and quick slice in editable poly. We are going to make a plane and convert it into a bed with side table and backrest one piece. So let's get started. I have the scene ready and we will create bed over here with using slice plane. So let's get started. All we need to do is create one box according to the AutoCAD plan. Once we are done with that, All we need to do is give it an extrude by going in modifiers. So 2D shape rectangle I created and now I am extruding it. Once I extrude it, I'll give it a particular height that is 12 inches. And I have created one box. One piece we are going to convert it into a bed. Just right click and select convert to editable point. As soon as you do that, all we need to do is select edges over here. As soon as I select edges, I can select and I can give chamfer to it. So add chamfer and then add segments accordingly. This is our things work. Once we are done with this, in this edges section only, you need to scroll down in edit geometry. You will have an option of slice plane. As soon as you click on slice plane, you will have one segment, red in color. Through which you can move it wherever you want. Make sure that you activate angle snap, very much important for accurate rotation in 90 degrees. Angle snap activated. I need one. I need one segment over here. Click on slice, rotating it. I need one segment over here. Click on slice, and one on this side again. Again assigning. Deactivate this slice plane once your work is done. Then we'll just go and polygon face, fourth optional selection. Easily you can select and then you can extrude that face out like this. Give it a particular height and we have it. Check mark. Select both of these. And extrude. Same way you have it. And done. With this easily you can create bed design. Select all these things. Inset. Inset and give it a border and open. Extrude it again inwards, and we have our matter section ready. Again, same thing, you can extrude it more or you can move it manually. That's all. Select inset and extrude. No need to do anything because the values are preset. Again, I need slice planes to create groove and all that things for our side table. Again, slice plane. All you need to do is select the edges and you need to select slice plane. Once you have it, rotate it and give it a placement upwards like this. Click on slice and again click on slice plane okay. for one more group and again slice click on slice plane and deactivate the command 
I only need this much. I don't need all these unwanted lines. Easiest way to remove this line is Control plus Backspace. It's gone. Control plus Backspace. It is gone. Whatever things which is interfering and not of use, whatever segments I'm talking about, you just remove it by Control plus Backspace. And we easily have it done. Like this. Multi select by pressing Control and then Backspace. Things will remain what you need, rest will be gone. Again, you go and select Polygon Place and you can edit these sides also. Very easy. All you need to do is insert again. And then easily you can extrude it inwards and you will have it in this format. Anything we can do with the help of slice screen. Again unwanted lines. And it is gone. Control with backspace and your work is done. Again selecting all these faces, one and two. And just give it that next tool so that we have proper groove for the scene. Extrude it outward a little bit and we have it. This is how things work with creating a one piece bed with the help of slice screen. Same way on the other end, we have this wall. So, how can we work with quick slice? Same way we have quick slice. Click on quick slice and you can easily add the way you want it. You can easily add all these lines with the help of quick slice and you can create some different designs out. Undo it. Anything. Straight, cross, zigzag and you have once that thing is done, you need to deactivate again by clicking on same quick slice. Go in polygon face and select all these faces. And then insert. Insert by polygon individual. And you have it. And then extrude it inwards. And we have proper groove and all that stuff for the same. So this completes the design and we have it in more details like this. Extrude it in words, little less. Okay. And we have it. Anything you can model and you can have it. This is how things work. Let's add all these props and make it look more beautiful. And it is done. Now let's give it a quick render and check the output. So all I need to do is press C. I'll go in camera and we'll give it a quick render. Wait for it to render and then we will see how the output comes. And we are done with the surrender and this is how it looks like. I hope you like this video. So do like, share and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more. Thank you.